Oh, he's fucked up. That shit is. That shit is definitely not surviving. I'm made. I'm made. What the figgity fuck? I'm smoking okay. Yeah, I hit the is up. Is up. Now I'm taking off. good youtube i'm back with another so you think you know wix but do you really who the fuck First i'm gonna, up, let, you, I'm gonna let you slide anyways nigga i'm back with another video yeah hey man last video y'all running me up hey y'all the last last three videos damn near 1k Two of them about to hit 1K. No, two of them hit 1K. The other one almost hit 1K. What the fuck? <laughs> y'all like, you know saying? Welcome to the family. I'm just thinking about changing my name. I've, I've locked it down. I got three names I've really decided on. For this video, I'm only going to tell you one. How do y'all feel about sabotage? Sabotage? Get it? Because, like, it's supposed to be Sabotage. My name's Taj. Sabotage not even spelt right. The fuck is the G making the Z sound? You feel what I'm saying? So my name replaces that Z. It really makes sense. Sabotage. You feel me? <laughs> but it sound, it sound right. I'm going to tell y'all the other two names in a different video. Appreciate y'all for, you know what I'm saying, tuning in. Thank you. And... For the nigga who commented on my last video, bro can't afford free ad blocker. Bitch. You really gonna call me poor instead of putting a brother on? Fuck, nigga, you could have just been like, bro, you know you can get free ad blockers, right? I didn't fucking know I could block the ads from YouTube, nigga. Wait, is he talking about... This nigga's talking about the viruses that be popping on my PC. Bitch, fuck you. Fuck you. The finest how about you? How about you put me on instead of calling me poor, nigga? I get it. I'm poor, nigga. You, you think this shit a game? Warriors are Bitch, never that's what I'm on eating again in y'all fucking some are ear. simply molded by their enemies, the best usually seek the wisdom of a master. Who, for some reason, is a weird old pervert. Like Roshi, turtle hermit and teacher to Dragon Ball's greatest hero. And Jiraiya, the toad sage and instructor to the most famous ninja of all. Mm -hmm. He's whiz and I'm boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win who got a death battle. Yeah, I don't have an ad blocker, bitch. Goku is, without a doubt, one of the greatest martial arts champions of all time. Well, yeah, he's good enough to rival gods, become a Super Saiyan, and even master Ultra Instinct. But he never would have achieved any of it without the guidance of Master Roshi. A martial artist who's so powerful, there's only one thing in the world that can stop him. Well, uh, two things, really, if you get what I mean. I know your game, old man, and I don't want to play. <laughs> anyway, when he was a hip youngin, Roshi studied under the legendary Master Potato. Mutaito. And a kitty cat. These masters of ass whooping taught Roshi how to weaponize his own life energy, or ki. Similar to many real-life Chinese martial arts, ki is a vital energy all living beings possess. The stronger and more focused you are, the greater your ki becomes. Roshi can use his key to increase his power, pushing past his physical limits with a bunch of awesome techniques. He can fire explosive shots, go buff mode, stun foes with thunder shock surprise, and even seal dangerous enemies away with the evil containment wave. It wasn't long until Roshi refined these techniques and created his own martial arts style, Turtle School. Creepy old man turtle school, creepy old man turtle, turtle hermit, school. bitch. Roshi and a half chill, he's a turtle man. Turtle no, school it's doesn't not sound about cool. beating people up as slow as you can like I first thought. Turtle school, or Kame style, includes everything from tricky pressure point combat to a phony drunken style, which, if you ask me, is just a missed opportunity to get wasted. 
by delivering milk up a mountain, plowing a field with bare hands, working construction with simple tools, and being chased by both sharks and bees, all while wearing a 50-pound shell, Roshi's martial art focuses on breaking the wall of humanity in every way. Except for one. <laughs> Despite most of his students learning it at some point, flight is actually a technique developed by his rivals, the Crane School. Apparently, Roshi's just been a bit too stubborn to properly learn the skill, even after centuries of experience. How long has he been doing He just this? won't do it. Well, it's For a what? little vague, but thanks to either a pet phoenix he accidentally killed or the mysterious paradise herb, he's just shy of 360 years old. Damn! I'm just impressed that you still chanted age. up for the girls after all that time. Boomstick, that's... Well, I mean, yes, I guess... Oh, is it life? Let's see his life. Where can I get me some of this paradise Confirmed by Roshi and Jiraiya. I've been chasing tail for centuries. Good luck with that. But with okay. all of those years spent honing his talents, Roshi dedicated 50 of them to developing one revolutionary technique. Kami! Kami! Ha! Anyway... Ha! <laughs> gotcha! What's up, affiliate marketers? How you doing? Michael Bashi here. Now, really, really quick, listen. I know you don't want to be here. Uh, anyway... To be honest, devastating is an understatement. Well, yeah, he blew up a whole freaking mountain with it! This peak was inspired by the real-life flaming mountains in China, standing up to 2,600 feet tall. With this in mind, we can find that to pulverize such a mountain, Roshi's Kamehameha must equal nearly 4 gigatons of TNT. But that's small stuff compared to the time he obliterated the entire moon in about 5 seconds! That's gotta be worth, what, like 10? 20 mountains? Where's how many mountains make a moon? Well, more like 35 billion. To obliterate the moon in its entirety, the Kamehameha must have struck it with a force akin to 3 octillion tons of TNT. That's, uh, 27 zeros, by the way. Holy shit, Roshi's also super fast. He can fight an entire battle in a blink of an eye. Which might seem crazy, but Roshi is also able to snatch bullets out of the air that are fired at him from point-blank range. Holy fuck. That gun looks like a British Sten, which can fire up to 600 rounds per minute at a muzzle velocity of nearly 1,200 feet per second. That means Roshi would have to react to the first bullet within 5 milliseconds. Additionally, each consecutive bullet would reach him just shy of 17 milliseconds apart. The maximum distance between any given shot looks to be about 3 feet, which means he would have to be moving at 180 feet per second in order to catch them all. Oh, if my hands Holy can move God. that fast, I'd finally stop getting married. Superhuman versus superhuman. This is actually a great matchup. I'm not even going to cap the opposite. This matchup is actually like... This speed is hurts. far from his limit, but Roshi's true talent is ensuring his students grow further and further than himself every day. Sadly, Roshi's frailty of age means his body can't always express just how powerful he really is. And using too much key energy can cause all sorts of problems, like when his master Pistachio died using the evil containment wave. But while Roshi's pupils may surpass... I gotta rewatch Dragon Ball. Do y'all want to see an OG Dragon Ball reaction? Might put those on the Patreon. Remains one of the smartest too, fighters too. on Earth. He's tough enough to take down dozens of Frieza's soldiers and survived a beatdown from an alternate universe wannabe Frieza. He even took a barrage of death rays like a champ. The same move that killed Vegeta hose. many, many years ago. And in the Dragon Ball Super manga, yeah, Roshi is shown to be so collected in battle, his movements sort of emulate those of Ultra Instinct. Yeah, that's not technically canon, but it does go to show how far Roshi's training can take him. And it's safe to say that this old, perverted... I have a feeling that that wasn't, like, necessarily Ultra Instinct, but it was, like, the fact that this nigga's been here for so long, it's Ultra Instinct. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's not... He not moving without thinking. His He has so much experience, and he's been around niggas way stronger than him for so long that... He could actually weave Jiren shit. And that's mostly all he could do. He obviously couldn't damage him. But genius of a man will never stop training. High IQ Dean. Among the ninja of the Hidden Leaf Village, few are quite as impressive as Naruto Uzumaki. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know that's crazy, because... 
you know. But not just anyone can fight aliens on the moon and become president of Hidden Valley Ranch. Naruto would become the Hidden Leaf's greatest champion and seventh Hokage. But the this disrespect this nigga just put on the Leaf Village, bruh. This shit right here is unfathomable. Would never have been possible without his training under the dynamic Toad Sage and legendary Sani, Jiraiya the Gallant. Gallant, huh? Hey, Wiz, why do the most badass old dudes always turn out to be weird pervs? Uh, well, don't lying. let his uh, crude demeanor fool you. Oh, don't worry about me, Wiz. This ain't my first trip to Secret Leaf Ninja Town. Nothing surprises me anymore. What the f***? Um, anyway, Jiraiya originally learned the Shinobi way from the third Hokage, who taught him how to use his chakra to do ninja magic. Similar to Ki, chakra is a form of life I hate energy. The In Hindu and Buddhist shit, theologies, chakras are... But I understand he's dumbing it down for the people who really don't watch the shit. You know what I'm saying? Simplistic terms, gates within the human body, which can be embraced to achieve enlightenment. However, in the world of Naruto, chakra is used to perform amazing ninja techniques called jutsus. Gesundheit. Thank you. Like most ninja, Jiraiya learned about four types of jutsus. Taijutsu, or hand-to-hand -hand combat, ninjutsu, harnessing chakra as elemental weapons and tools, genjutsu, which covers illusion and mental manipulation, and senjutsu, a method of utilizing naturally occurring energy as an extension of oneself. Jiraiya mastered as many styles as he could, and even learned one of the greatest ninjutsu attacks out there, the Rasengan. With this, he gathers his chakra into a spinning orb of death modeled off the ultra-destructive tailed beast bomb. And that thing can wipe out a whole village all at once. And on the weird side, he can sharpen his twisted sister mane into a shield like a porcupine and fire the hairs out like a needle gun. Possessing a keen and mischievous mind, Jiraiya spent plenty of time developing brand new techniques, such as the invisibility jutsu, which you'd think would be perfect for stealth or assassination missions, but he actually developed it specifically for... Uh, research? Days. Where else is a self-respecting writer supposed to get his, uh, inspiration from? Clearly, Jiraiya sometimes took his tinkering a bit too far. On one such occasion, he accidentally teleported himself to a mystical land full of giant talking toads. Is you sure Jutsu isn't just like another name for crack? After befriending the toads, Jiraiya trained under the sage Fukasaku. Where he learned a bunch of fire release techniques, like the toad oil bullet and flame bullet attacks. Now that's one impressive loogie. Jiraiya entered a pact with the toads, learning their ways and summoning them to the field of battle. As his own talents relied on trickery over brute force, such as hiding in shadows and manipulating his opponent's movements, the powerful toads were perfect allies. He can trap his foe inside a toad's throat, so transform cool. them into toads for interrogation, I or even lie. call a gigantic. I know how strong. I I know how strong the laser beams from that fake Frieza was supposed to be. But I'm sorry, Jiraiya has to get this one, bro. Nigga, Krillin's stronger than Roshi. Roshi's like the closest person in Dragon Ball to a regular human. He just lived for a very long time. And he liked that. You feel what I'm saying? But Jiraiya has too his much side. shit. Like, like the biggest grump you've ever seen. Yes, way too much shit under his, I am the wise under his belt. Lord Gamabunta, the chief toe, and you're an idiot. Now shut up! Bunto, you crush the old toad. And through Fukasaku's teachings, Jiraiya perfected the art of Senjutsu. Through their combined efforts, he entered a new mighty form called Sage Mode. Well, it takes a long time to get into, Sage Mode Jiraiya can do all sorts of things he couldn't before. Like the unpredictable martial art Frog Kata, and a deadly Genjutsu, the demonic illusion Toad Confrontation Chant. Which sounds weird, so why don't we just call it your f Jutsu, cause if you get cut, your soul is trapped by these big guys who desperately want a high five, leaving your physical body totally open to a swift kill. Sage Mode also enhances Jiraiya's other abilities, turning his normal Rasengan into the unstoppable Big Ball Rasengan, which, according to the official data books, is strong enough to carve away a mountain. Wiz, he's way more than just a mountain smasher. Jiraiya is quick enough to fight some of the but, fastest bro, ninja Roshi around, blew up like a moon, Kakashi bro. and Itachi, like, some of which are fast enough about to those. intercept lightning. Moon. The leader of a lightning bolt moves around 220,000 miles per hour, putting ninja like Jiraiya around speeds of Mach 280. 
Now I get why ninja are so awesome. Who needs guns when you're more than a hundred times faster than bullets? While Jiraiya isn't exactly the strongest or fastest ninja around, he's certainly one of the most clever. Over time, he rose to become a legendary ninja and hero of his people. Hailed by the honorable title. Didn't the author say if they made guns and missiles, like Naruto would be the universe. Naruto would also be kind of four. And then he band, wrote pain. ninjas that had guns and missiles. His throat in and impaled him five times. What? But even while suffering excruciating agony, Jiraiya proved strong enough to power through and send a vital message to his most promising pupil, paving the way for the next generation of heroes before being swept off his feet one last time. You know. I guess he was a pretty gallant guy after all. As you can see, you failed. I thought he was gonna come back. Falls victim to no woman's charm. Rare beauties fall for me. When you reach the stature I have, the ladies worship at your awesomeness. All right, the combatants are set. Host. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, if you're as hungry as I am for this fight, you may be interested in Blue Apron. I'm not even gonna cap. I got now, you've I probably got heard of Blue Apron, I got the leading meal kit delivery service in the U.S. Ah, <laughs> buddy. I got Roshi. I'm not gonna cap. I got Roshi. Ooh, ooh. this store is really close by. I don't know why. Just because of that song in the hog, bro. Hey, fuzz for brains. Where are the pictures? It's just right in here. <laughs> Pictures? You fool! Words paint a thousand beautiful pictures all by themselves! Gee, don't take it personally. Not like you wrote the damn thing. But I did! He did. <laughs> Why is one pixelated and the other one colored like that? The heck is this? You don't have to You're stuck now, over. Baldy. Setup shit. I ain't gonna lie, Jirai got too much this setups. I ain't gonna look. No cap. He got too many setups, bro. You're not oh. ready. Alright, Rasengan not carry him that far though. That's really not happening. Oh, he's running across the water with her. Summoning Jutsu! Is Roshi gonna do buff mode? Jiraiya, you buffoon! What's this about? Hey there! Can you buy me some time? What? I'm not your servant. I'm the chief to get there we go. My lord. Let me just try this one. Liquid bullet. Oh, he's a quick one. What about a rifle? Oh, shit. Yep, yeah, got your toe continuing. Only a coward lets others do their fighting for them. Yeah, figure. You have no idea. I've been back on the beach the whole time. 
Is he saying he got caught in the genjutsu? Or is that a clone? Oh, he's fucked up. That shit is. That shit is definitely not surviving. I'm made, I'm made. What the figgity fuck? Genjutsu? I can't believe you fell for that. Let's end this. What? <laughs> I knew they were gonna use like the Jiren Ultra Instinct shit as like a way for him to win, but. Do we really fuck with that kind of ending? Like he got hit again, Jutsu, and the force his body was propelling still killed you. We don't think Jiraiya Sensei would have uh, thought about that and moved out the way. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just saying. Even though I know a sword probably really wasn't gonna shank shit. Still. Talk about a whole new way to win. Jiraiya was certainly one of the most. I ain't gonna lie, it works with their characters. That's some shit Roshi would do. No, it was not. Powerful. It is. It is. Fears of his own world. Unconscious punched the nigga in half. He shouldn't have survived with the Kamehameha, if we being honest. But there's no question that Roshi's sheer might outclassed him. One guy can break a mountain, the other can break a moon. <laughs> so yeah. that was pretty obvious. The speed comparison wasn't quite so clear-cut, though. While his unseen battle with Krillin was incredibly quick, Roshi's never personally shown speeds as fast as the lightning feats Jiraiya scaled to. But he did hold his own in the Tournament of Power against Planet and Galaxy Busters. Also, in Goku's training right after Korin's... Yeah, because everybody in that universe... Those were the top fighters from every universe. Not top fighters from a planet. The top fighters from the entire universe. Earth. And if we're talking Dragon Ball, that means everybody who was in that tournament was solar system to galaxy to universal minimum. You feel what I'm saying? Planetary at the minimum slightest because Roshi, he was, he's, he was moon level or whatever. He actually had to dodge lightning. Roshi's own training didn't stop after chasing the kitty around and neither did his kitty chasing. So, scaled to Goku's progress, it makes sense that he'd be able to match Jiraiya's speed, and probably even surpass it. Still, it would be reasonable to believe Jiraiya could use his tactical talent to outsmart and outlast Roshi. Except, Roshi's a smart fighter too. Not yeah. only does he have way more experience thanks to his super- He is 300 years old. ...super age, but he's got an eye for traps in sticky situations, like when he figured out the illusion powers of the talisman fighter, Dercori. And remember, it took only 15 seconds for Roshi's Kamehameha to reach the moon. Given the moon's distance of over 200,000 miles from the surface of the Earth, this means the beam must have traveled over 57 million miles per hour, more than 260 times faster than lightning. There was no way Jiraiya could avoid Roshi's trademark move for very long. Sure, Jiraiya might be a crafty ninja, but all that doesn't boil down to much more than tricks against someone like Roshi. Roshi was simply faster, stronger, and had way more experience. And that's why Jiraiya croaked when Roshi beat him to the punch. The winner is Master Roshi. As I said, thank you. As I fucking Please watch said. It, everyone, if you hey, man. If y'all like the video, man, like, comment, subscribe, man. Keep... Keep keep tuning in. Y'all been turning me up. I'm finna stay consistent for y'all boys. Fresh off work. You feel me? With the reaction video. We on the grind. We on this shit. You feel me? Let's do it. Thank you. I'm smoking okay. Yeah, I hit the is up. It's up. Now I'm taking off. I'm taking off. I'm taking off. Yeah, I came from the bottom. I went to the top. Now I'm taking off. I'm taking off. I'm taking off. I'm taking off. I'm taking off.